Rarely can you get fresh seafood, fresh music, fresh art, and fresh locally brewed beers all in one place in the middle of a growing city, but this weekend, you can. Thank goodness. Here to talk <laughs> about it is Michael Kalna from Hills to Holy Water and Chad from the Market Restaurant. Thank you both so much for being here. Thank you. Can you first tell us about the Hills to Holy Water event? What, what exactly is it? Um, it's a, a music arts tour that um, travels across the state of North Carolina um, from the Outer Banks to uh, the mountains, um, promoting fresh seafood, um, sustainable agriculture, lo local farms, bands, um, craft brews, breweries, um, and um, nonprofits, local local nonprofits that we work with. And when you talk about fresh, you are literally driving to the ocean, picking up seafood, bringing it back for this festival. Yeah, I gotta catch the, the ferry tomorrow morning. Um, <laughs> Doesn't get any fresher than yeah, that. Yeah, pick up all love the coolers. Yeah. And Chad, the market will be there represented. Can you tell me why you love this event? Why, why was it important for you to be a part of it? Well, I'm originally from South Louisiana. Growing up in South Louisiana, I spent my life up and down the Gulf Coast. And so seafood and the, the coastline has always been very near and dear to me. A lot of my family still are um, from fishermen back home, and so um, living out here on the East Coast is fantastic. There's such an bounty of local seafood that's out here. I mean, there's so many great um, local sources that you can get seafood from here uh, right in the area within, I mean, a stone's throw. So uh, I love to be able to incorporate it into our dishes. What did you prepare for Volanda? Because <laughs> she's going to probably won't make it anywhere else. So. Um, real quick, this is very something uh, s similar to something that we're going to be doing this weekend. Uh, we're going to be doing a grill fish taco. Today I got some fresh mahi over at Saltwater Seafood. And so a little bit of a tangy slaw on the bottom, some corn tortillas that are going to be made here in town. And uh, they're going to be put out. These guys are going to actually be responsible for this. Uh, I'm going to be doing a seafood jambalaya uh, this weekend out there. And so um, there's going to be a lot of stuff. Battistella's is uh, throwing down the gauntlet too. They're going to be doing some food. I mean, it's it's incredible. I mean, mm. you get to see some, some incredible dishes and, and, and great music and, and great beer. And a lot of local breweries too, right? Yeah, we try to, uh, wherever we go within the town we try to stay within a kind of a 50 or 100 mile radius with the craft breweries so there's um, yeah aviator natty greens big boss lone rider and uh, husk hardware and it's gonna be a great event for the whole family yes yes it's a kid friendly uh, family event you know during the day so we encourage you know families to come out and bring chairs blankets and enjoy the show do you think this is also an opportunity to educate people about why local is so important. How much better this tastes <laughs> than something frozen and shipped here? Yeah, it's actually a great opportunity. I just got the phone with uh, David Hilton, the president of the Ocracoke Working Watermen's Association on Ocracoke, the Fish House. Mm -hmm. And um, he is uh, seriously uh, thinking about coming up to um, you know, maybe do, d definitely to be at the event to talk about the food, particularly the fish, but also to talk about the uh, you know, the, the lifestyle and the, well, the heritage. Well, we love it. Thank great. you so much for being here. The market will be back open again soon. Yes, ma'am. All right. The Hills to Holy Water Music Arts Tour is this Saturday, June 8th, Moore Square in Raleigh from 1 to 7 p.m.